Uh, I do like the look of this naked vice. It looks pretty, pretty damn cool. But I think I am just going to have to go ahead and paint it just because I don't want to deal with this. You know, it's, it's damaging the metal. It's, you know, I don't want to deal with the rust. So I am just going to go ahead and paint it and be done with it. All right, so let's talk about painting. Uh, so my, my pieces look pretty much the way they did before. They still have some rust on there. Uh, so first things first, uh, I'm going to wire wheel any rust I see off. Like here, this, this piece actually has a good amount of rusting because this is the one I've been handling the most. You can see. So I'm gonna get rid of all that. I'm just gonna use a wire wheel and that should be able to get rid of that new rust. And afterwards, I'm just going to clean it with some acetone to prep the surfaces. The whole thing still has kind of a, a small layer of uh, fluid film that I put on there. So I want to get all of that off so I get nice adhesion with the paint. And then after that, I'm going to paint it. And what I'm going to use is... I'm going to use... Oops. Yeah. So I've got some self-etching primer for bare metal, this here, and then I'm going to follow it up with this Verde Green Hammered Rust-Oleum. It looks a lot like the manufacturer original color, so that's why I want that. And uh, I really like the finish. So I've already painted several pieces, uh, some of the smaller pieces. Um, the main pieces I haven't uh, done yet, the, the main body and the dynamic jaw I have yet to do, but I did do these smaller pieces here, the base, uh, the rotating part of the base, and the end cap. And I wanted to do that because these are a little bit less conspicuous and I wanted to get my methodology down a little bit before I, uh, I did the larger pieces. Let's see if I can zoom in there. There we go. And you can see the finish it leaves. Now, I painted, uh, I taped off a few areas on the cap. I did uh, that amount because this will be the surface that will be pushing into the main body there. And I don't want the paint to, you know, basically get uh, forced off of there. So I, I left a little bit of a lip like that. And I'm just going to cover all the bare metal parts that I didn't paint with fluid film again. So that's that. You can see it has a nice, that nice textured look. And by the way, I managed to dome it out pretty good. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. So I don't know if, I guess you can look at the previous videos for how it looked before. But the way I did it is I just used a hammer and one of these old 5 8 inch bolts that I had. And I basically just kind of, uh, tapped it in there with a hammer and domed it out as uh, well as I could. Um, on this one, I didn't tape off anything except these, uh, these jagged edges here. Even the hole I, uh, I painted in. And the reason for that is because it was kind of loose before anyway. Um, and I fitted it afterwards and it's still kind of loose. So there's no real harm in doing it. It's just rust protecting. Um, I kind of wanted the tolerances to get a little bit smaller so that that pin would be held a little bit tighter, but it's about the same. Maybe a little bit tighter, but no big deal. So I, I painted that and everything else too. These sides are also still bare because those will be probably sliding up against the inside of this here. Now this one, uh, the only parts I didn't paint were this part where the, the main body sits on, and that's going to uh, it's going to slide against here. So all the sliding surfaces, I'm trying to not paint. Um, and I'll just put fluid film on, on all the exposed surfaces. But basically on this one, it's only this. I painted everything else. I could have maybe left the bottom bare and maybe these jagged edges, but I don't think that's a big deal. All right, so that's all taped off. There we are. Slide the, uh, the jaw attachment. In the front there. So basically, I'm just going to be covering all this 
Uh, basically, the way I'm going to paint this, though, is I'm going to give it about two coats of self-etching primer. I'm going to do the first coat, really light coat, um, wait about two minutes, and then I'm going to go for the second coat, maybe a little bit heavier, but not too bad, and then wait about half an hour, then apply the first hammered coat, once again, pretty light coat, then wait an hour, and uh, apply the final coat. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to start with this. Uh, follow the directions on the can. It's, I'm not, I don't paint very often, so see how that goes. You want to start painting on your surface itself so you can get your uh, positional adjustment done before you actually ruin your piece. So I'll we'll start a little bit over here and then just kind of wipe across. First coat of uh, paint going on right now. Same per same deal, pretty much. All right, so I've sprayed the first coat of paint on the dynamic jaw. You can see it definitely doesn't have that hammered effect because I, pretty, I put a pretty light coat on and I stayed kind of far away from it. Um, basically, I have my light now and it's always a good idea to go back and inspect everything to make sure you got all the areas that you wanted to. You can see the bottom has a little bit more of a hammer effect and the reason for that is because I had to spray a little bit more there to get in that hole basically. The flatter parts I could just move over a couple times and they do not have that effect so I'll simply have to spray a little bit more on those areas when I do the final spray but I'm basically just checking out everything to make sure we got a nice make sure we have nice coverage and it uh, looks like we do all right, I have the main body prepped for paint as well. Let's take a little look here. <clears throat> so the inside is all taped off. Make sure you also get this groove here. You don't want any paint going in there. So that's kind of what I have it like right now. Like I said, the jaw area I've taped off. The anvil area I've taped off. And I put the pins in. Uh, just to plug these holes, and I figured, hey, might as well paint the end of those too, so. Uh, there they are. And that's the end, so that's all taped off too. And also the bottom. You can see it down there, I don't want to flip it, but the bottom is com also completely taped off.
All right, so here's the vice after painting. This is actually like maybe two weeks after painting. I haven't had a chance to get back to it yet, but the paint's definitely dry by now. It looks pretty good. There we go. All that I need to do is, I didn't paint this at all. I could have painted that, but I eh, don't really care about it too much. Here's the vice. I'll get a better shot after I uh, remove the tape, but that's what I'm gonna do now. You can see it's a little bit dusty, so I gotta wipe it off. But yeah. So let me remove all the tape and I'll get another shot of everything. So the only other thing I'm doing is just kind of softening the edges where all the, the tape was. Um, and how I'm, how I'm doing that is with this 800 grit wet dry sandpaper. And what I'm doing is just kind of running it along at about a 45 degree angle just to give the paint a little bit of a chamfer so that it doesn't peel as easily or, uh, you know, stick up or whatever. Uh, makes the edges a little bit cleaner. So, um, just have my flat, flat edge here. And what I'm going to do is put it on there at about a 45 degree angle and just give it a quick swipe. That's usually about all it takes. So, on some of these surfaces, the, the paint sort of bled onto the, uh, the flat surface. And I'll have to either wire wheel that very carefully or just sand it off a little bit if I even care to do it like on the anvil I don't really care but maybe right here eh, maybe maybe I'll do it um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is when you when you're doing this make sure you're going always towards the bare metal because if you go the other direction you're gonna tend to lift your paint up as you're as you're sanding right so if you go this way the paint's gonna want to Peel up. Got all the edges softened up. There we go. Basically, when I did it, all I did was just kind of feel along here um, until you know all the burrs and stuff like that were gone. Here's a nice illustration of that. You can see how nicely blended it is now. Right here. That's a nice. Uh, transition right there so anyway um this stuff has been sitting like a month or or more and you can see it still hasn't accumulated any rust so that fluid film has been doing its job uh i'm gonna go ahead and redo everything wipe it down with acetone put some more fluid film on everything and then we can start reassembling